International Astronomy Show 2013 in Warwickshire. Uh, this is the Fornax 10 mount on a tripod and with a TS INET 70 apochromatic telescope. So the Fornax 10 mount is uh, uh, on a wedge. Uh, Fornax makes uh, a nice sturdy wedge for it. And they also make uh, a ball head from high quality steel. Uh, okay, it's actually it's not steel, it's um, it's um, it's an aluminium, it's peronal called. Uh, it's a type of aluminium that is practically has a sturdiness of steel. So it's lightweight but very heavy duty. Okay. So this is the new housing, new aluminium housing. And the old Fornax had a black plastic housing so this looks slightly nicer. This is just a power pack here, 12 volts DC. So it can work from any 12 volt power source like a power tank or a battery pack. You could just put it down here. Now we can move it to position. It is friction driven. Let's move it now back by turning it to south. Okay. And now it will drive. And if you cl close enough, then probably there is a sound can hear a very interesting sound of this machine practically musical okay. so the ball hat can be installed in two positions. One position is, is on axis and the other position is off axis. And at the, in this case it's in off axis position. And according to the Sky at Night magazine review, this mount actually performed better than the Astro track. Uh, but of course people like the design of the Astro track very much so it's a difficult task for competing with them. But it's getting nicer with this silver box uh, I think it, it's much nicer than the other black plastic box was. And yeah the Inet 70 is, is a nice uh, duplet um, apochromatic telescope that sells for a very attractive price of about just around 300 pounds with your speed focuser With 2 inch to 1.25 inch uh, adapter included.
cannot see it here, but it's a uh, copper. Oh, okay, you can see now. It's a compression ring, a copper or brass compression ring in there. So that's it, International Astronomy Show 2013, thanks for watching, bye bye.